What's up guys and welcome to part 3 of tutorial series on how to train custom document classifier with AWS Component Service. In the previous tutorial we have successfully created the training file and now we are all set to feed that file and train the Component Custom Classifier. Right? So yes, uh, in this tutorial we are going to train the Custom Classifier. So let's get started. So here we will be using three services that is IAM role, S3 bucket and Component service itself, right? So here the flow will be like we will upload the training file into the S3 bucket and we are going to access the file via Comprehend uh, with correct permissions using IAM role, right? So let's get started. So I will start with uh, S3 management console, right? So here I am going to create a bucket. So let's say comprehend classifier and I will say create. Now I am going to upload the train.csv file that we have created in the previous tutorial uh, in this bucket, right? So that is this one. I will just drag and drop and I will say upload. So in the meantime, uh, we will jump to the Comprehend Management Console or the Comprehend, right? Comprehend Service. It's not basically the Management Console here. So as you can see, the file has successfully uploaded, right? In Comprehend, uh, we will jump to uh, Custom Classification here, right? So as you can see there is an option for training the classifier so we will click on train classifier and here we need to fill out a few details and then we are good to go. So the first is the classifier name right so in our case it's C1 I mean not in our case uh, you can define whatever name you want but I will say C1 right then language. So in our case it's English but it does support French, German, Italian, Portuguese and Spanish right. So it's English then we need to give the path of the train.csv that we have just uploaded. So basically we need to uh, define the URI here right. So I will click on search folder and I will simply select the bucket and I will simply define train.csv at the end which is the file name that I have just uploaded right so moving along uh, I am role so this time uh, we are not uh, specifically uh, going to I am management console to create the role but we will let comprehend uh, create the role for us right so I will say uh, create an I am role right then uh, in permission to access there are two options that is training data bucket and any s3 bucket right so it's kind of self-explanatory right so if i will select training data bucket then comprehend will only have access to uh, this bucket that is comprehend classifier that we have just created in the previous step right and if i select any s3 bucket uh, it will have access to any of the bucket uh, right so I will say training data bucket and the next is suffix right. So basically uh, comprehend will create the role with this string as prefix that is Amazon comprehend service role hyphen and then we need to uh, provide some suffix. So I will say comprehend custom right. So this will be appended at the end of that string right. Now we are all good to go and we will click on train classifier. So it's saying propagating IAM role. So it's basically creating the IAM role for us, right? So it will uh, take some time. So it's the job is successfully submitted, right? So 
now the status will uh, after some time status will change to training and then probably it will change to trained or if there is an error then it will just change to error right so uh, it's going to take some time to train this classifier right now as you can see the training is in progress right so i'll just reload it once again it's still training right so as you can see the uh, classifier has been successfully trained right so let's click on that and see uh, what does it say so as as we have discussed in the previous tutorial uh, we had five labels right or five classes that is politics business tech sport and entertainment right so as you can see it says number of labels is five number of train documents is uh, 1350 right though it should be uh, 1400 i guess no 1500 right so what happened to rest of the uh, documents or rest of the rows within the train or csv file right so basically uh, what comprehend does is comprehend uh, use between 10 and 20 percent of the documents that you submit for training to test the custom classifier right so as you can see here uh, it uh, fetched out or it sliced 150 documents for testing right so it says number of test documents is 150 and number of train documents is uh, 1350 right and moving along uh, so here we can see the classifier performance so it says accuracy on 150 test documents is 0.97 that is uh, pretty good right and then uh, we have precision recall and f1 score so basically uh, i will just uh, touch upon each of the term right so what is precision so pre precision uh, is the ratio of uh, correctly predicted observation uh, to the total predicted observation right and to touch upon recall, uh, so recall is basically the ratio of correct, correctly predicted uh, observation to all the observation in the actual class, right? The higher the better, both, right? And F1 score is nothing but the weighted average of uh, the precision and recall, right? So moving along, so here is uh, some of the request response, right? That it returns. So well yeah uh, this is how we can train the custom classifier right and probably in the next tutorial uh, we will perform the classification uh, on the unseen data right apart from that uh, top 300 uh, files that we have selected for uh, train.csv right uh, using this uh, classifier that we have just trained right. So well that's it for now and as usual if you want me to do the tutorial on any specific service or use case you have then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with a tutorial for the same and if you have any queries or comments then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.